down in my bubble, dude. Yo, my name is Lando Wilkins, and this is my, my 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. All right, Lando, start off with five. Five. Five reasons why you became a dub stepper. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> five reasons why I became a dub stepper. One, it's the end thing to do. Two, the music makes no sense, so it makes great sense. Three, I, I believe it's been translated as an alien language, so I'm all about knowledge. Four, I could work on my wicked glides in the shower. And the fifth reason why I'm a dubstep dancer is just that it's the most best dance in the world. And then I wake up. <laughs> Alright, for real, for real. I wanna hear this one. Two five. Two five. Two five. Two five. Five superpowers you can take from any comic book character. Woo! Alright, this is my take all day. Five superpowers I could take. Do I have to name who I'm taking it from or just name the powers? You do what you want. Alright, five. Dang, so many powers. One for sure would be flight because it's just awesome. I don't have to give an explanation for that. Two would be, there's a character called Dakin. He uses pheromones to get anything he wants. He persuades people. So I would release pheromones and get what I want without having to stab people. Two, oh, I almost said two. Third one, I think it would be able to control the flow of time. That way my food won't expire. Yeah, because I love food and ice cream too. The fourth would be, well, without time you need space. So I think it would be controlling space time continuum. All that little quantum physics stuff. I don't want to worry about. What were you guys about? The fifth one. Damn. Telekinesis. Bow. Look that up. Webster Dictionaries, the Miriam. Yeah. Telekinesis. Move stuff with your mind. Influence people with your mind. No. All right, four. You're in a lot of crews. You got to pick your not. top four dancers you're in a crew with. I'm, wait, what? So I'm in a lot of crews, or you're, you're stating that I'm in a lot right of crews. Now. I'm not in a lot of crews right now. What crews are you in right now? Just Most Wanted and Headbangers. Most Wanted and Headbangers. And Box Cutters. And Box Cutters. <laughs> <laughs> Your favorite four dancers in those crews. My favorite four dancers in all those crews? Oh my god, why? Dang. I'm gonna hurt some feelings, but I don't give a damn. Here we go. One would be JP Goldstein. He's just a good brother and a good fool to have around. He can rip and he's always down to do stuff. And he's ugly. Three more, right? That was yeah. four. Twitch from old box cutters days. He was like the only real brother at the time that I really like dance and be down to go all nighters on freestyles and just sessioning. So that was a good motivational image impact in my life at that time. The second person, dang, dude. Man, why y'all gotta do this? Why you crawling? <laughs> this is, I never seen Nelson crawl, this is awkward. Damn, two more. It shouldn't be this hard, because boxing game goes deep. They go deep. Man, I'll say it, Brian Puspos. Uh, it's good to watch, to see where he came from before and see how he is now, and he just, he's down a rip too and freestyle, and people don't really know about that, so I appreciate that, and he's another fool to have around, just opposite of JP, so that's where I get my abs from, from laughter. Dang, the last one. Man, F it, I'm the best member at, at all. <laughs> I'm a different person in each crew, so it's like, I enjoy who I am around those people. There we go, done. Dylan, Dylan, and Dylan. <laughs> <laughs> three. What are your top three moments in dance? Why is this all dance related? Top three moments in dance? Yeah. Dang. Okay, one for sure was getting to meet Mr. Wiggles in person, not on VHS <laughs> or the flyers I found in downtown on the ground. Um, yeah, meeting Wiggles for the first time was ill. I think the next one's probably meeting Salah, like learning about him and his performance, seeing Battle of the Year, and then seeing him in the character and his teachings and stuff with people. Just feeling that energy was another dope moment. And and I think one memorable moment would probably, you'd have to look it up on YouTube, but it was the other duck freestyle. If you ever checked that out. Yeah, actually, yeah, Sean. Just, I don't know, it was a random encounter and it was the first time of like me being in an LA kind of environment, but it was still with peers I knew and met and didn't even really know and grew up and we just danced. It developed good uh, relationships after that. So yeah, for some reason it's the other duck video. Look it up, YouTube. Moving on to two. Two, two it's a high reasons number. why you think Tide Eyes is better than Lil C. Who's Lil C? <laughs> Was it see? Oh, snap, hold on, start over. I had to think for a second. Let me uh, put on my glasses so I can hear these questions right. My sense is a little off because of medication. All right, I got it, Little C, my bad. I had to think about it. Two reasons why tie eyes is better than Little C. Y'all for real with this? <laughs> It's gonna be pretty easy. Uh, one, I don't, I don't think I really saw much of Little C to compare to tie eyes, so. And the second reason would probably be the same. I don't know much of Little C to know. I don't know, that's a tough question. I need another two, another two. Yeah, that's a hard one, because I really don't know. Two reasons why you're so hairy. 
<laughs> okay, two reasons why. Really? Because I got them. <laughs> Go. One reason is because it's part of my Mexican heritage and we grow fur. And the second reason is that I've been traveling in a lot of cold weathers and uh, that causes hair growth, which ET is. is Show is, the hair on your back. Nah, there's, there's not many people seen my backside since prison. <laughs> so we'll leave it at that. All right, last one, Lando. Really, those two questions? That's the number two. <laughs> Man, that's horrible, y'all. Horrible. Yeah, more yeah. more one. Give us one bit of advice you would give to any dancer. <laughs> <laughs> one advice would be to quit. No. <laughs> There's too many, y'all bastards. <laughs> we need to keep it down some, cause we were getting too confused on what what dance is and all these made up styles, like my favorite style of dubstep. Yeah, just quit now. Cause uh, if y'all if y'all don't know, the zombie apocalypse is coming soon. They made a movie about it and Superman comes and destroys them all. I'm just gonna throw out some bonus questions real quick. Bonus questions. PlayStation 4 or Xbox One? <sighs> I'm gonna get deep with this, ready? I was gonna say both. I was gonna say Xbox, y'all had me. Was gonna say PlayStation 4, y'all had me too. But I'm gonna have to go with PlayStation 4. Reason being, I am passionate about this. PlayStation 4, up the graphics. They got PlayStation exclusives. To play online, you don't need to pay. You need a, what is it, PSN network, which is only like so and so bucks for the whole year. You can you play, uh, use games on it. It's, it's shaped funky. There's a whole bunch of other reasons too. I forgot why, but oh, the hard drive is removable, so you can like do stuff with it. I don't know. And the Xbox is just, I don't know, I think they talking up a lot of game. Putting a leash on the man. We need some freedom. More exclusivity. Think about that Xbox. That's it, bro. All right, so really? Then, man. Now look at this I could have gave me some good questions. <laughs> <laughs> I could have gave me some. What up, y'all? This is Lando, and y'all survived my 54321. Two fingers.